Howdy, howdy, let's get rowdy. How's it going? Um, I've seen a bunch of videos. I'm new to VR. Well, not anymore. But I went straight to the top. I bought a Pimax Crystal Light. Almost exclusively for sim racing. I do like uh, a lot of sim drifting, mostly. But I also grip race. So ACC, you know, the settings are pretty easy to mess with. And so are evos like there's not much to change but i couldn't find anywhere in the five or six hours it took to get my vr settings where i like them so we're gonna go ahead and go over my content manager settings for the pimax crystal light so let's just jump right into it we're locked at 90 frames, which is pretty damn good. Took me a while to figure out how to get 90 frames, but once I did, it was over. Super easy. Um, and it's locked pretty much all the time. Sometimes I have to turn, I'll show you in the video, but single player, recording or streaming, no hezzy, locked at 90. Looks awesome, looks amazing. Um, my PC specs are 3080 Ti, and a Ryzen 7 7700X CPU. Uh, really just mid-tier at this point in life. But it works, and it works well. So first off, I have my post processing on. I like the pure filter. I don't like any of the other pures. You know, I have pure through uh, Peter Basal, whatever his name is. And uh, I like it. It's pretty good. So, I mean, overall quality is high, glare quality is high, depth of field is off, motion blur is off. I have the saturation at 95. It gets a little bright. I have heat shimmering off, sun rays off, X FXAA off. I have high quality mirrors on because it matters to me. It doesn't matter to most people, but it bothers me when the mirrors aren't good, especially playing no hezzy or drifting and looking for your buddy to see where he is and... I don't like it blurry. I like a good, nice quality picture, which I'll include in the video. Um, I have the pixels per display to two. I'm not sure if this does anything. It might increase sharpness, but I'm, I can't tell you yes or no. Um, I didn't change any of this, so this is stock out of the box. Uh, the rendering distance I have down to 240, which gives me no issues whatsoever. Reflections are 512 by 512, one face per frame, like stock. Um, my quality, I have MSAA off, but I do have Pimax's fixed foveated rendering on, which makes a hell of a difference. Um, the anti-stropic filtering is four times, world details are on high, shadow resolutions are off, and smoke generation is low. Now, we'll get back to the smoke generation in a second, but... Um, we go from there, we go into custom shaders patch, and then I have some stuff different, right? So, like, in here, I don't think I changed much, if anything. This is just that, yeah, there's nothing to do with VR in here, or graphics. I think... Um, I do have limit smoke down for drifting. It's super hard to see in car with anything else. Um, no FPS limiter. Let's get down to graphics adjustments. I made a bunch of changes in here. So for my graphics adjustments, I have it active. No FXAA. Um, render scale is 100, obviously. Uh, the AMD Fidelity. I picked up 30 frames using the AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution. And I'm telling you, it is sharp. So I have the quality set to quality. Sharpness is 50%. I can read anything. You know, I saw a lot of issues with people going in to tune their car and you can't read. Like, I can see everything is crystal clear through the Pimax. The LOD settings, I, I ripped this from someone on YouTube, but it was for an Oculus because nobody makes a Pimax setting video for some reason. Um, so this is all touched up. Force low-res cockpits, obviously. Uh, my limit of cars is 15. 
the trees are down to 40. Trees whoop frames ass. Um, the rest of the stuff I turned up for no hezzy, trying to get it even. Let's see what else. No MSAA tweaks. That's important. Post processing is FXAA 3.11. I think I might try to mess with this blurry sharp, but it's, I mean, my quality is good. I shouldn't touch anything. Everything you touch with the Pimax changes it drastically. Grass effects I have to low. Lighting effects is active, and I have the brightness set to 90. No dynamic lights in the in the mirror. Reflections is active. With this not on, I get a weird shadow in the car that I have to move my head around to brighten the entire screen. So I have to have Reflections FX on. Skid Marks FX is on. Smart Mirrors is active. Uh, weather FX. That's a good one. Um, I have it on the default weather style because as soon as I turn on Pure or SOL, I lose half my frames no matter what i do i lose half my frames uh post-processing i have the lightweight alternative i have uh, compatible sky shader obviously and then update sky and reflections less often that one helped a lot and then the mode tweaks for vr it's active i have the single pass stereo single yebus with NVIDIA VRS, with the Pimax high setting. Um, corners masking, I believe this is stock. I didn't touch that. Obviously, I don't have any Oculus issues. Uh, submit frames of VR before mirroring is active. All that kind of stuff. Custom VR mirroring into the main screen. That's how I record. So I have that set up and, you know, uh, as high as I can get it to where it pleases me. Um, I, you don't need stabilization. The Pimax software motion smoothing is wonderful. And I'm doing all this through Steam VR, no OpenXR. Uh, yeah, she rips. It's pretty, it's pretty damn good. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please let me know. I'll drop a... A clip of how I see it in the video.